I'm with Ryan McCarty, and we're going to talk some Glen Dornick Waterway Golf Links. It's a golf course is located right on the intercoastal, right on the North Carolina, South Carolina border. And Ryan, people will ask me, you know, what are sleeper golf courses? Mm -hmm. I mean, people know about Glen Dornick, but but at the same time, I feel like it's a hidden gem. People don't talk about it as as much as I think they should, because mm -hmm. it is one heck of a good golf course. Yes, it is. It is uh, one of the most scenic golf courses uh, down here because it is right on the waterway uh, and it's established with huge oak trees. Uh, it's a, a shot placement golf course mm -hmm. if there ever was one. Um, a, a, a tough golf course, fair on some of the holes, but uh, you know, you have to think. You have to think your way around that golf course. Yeah, let's dig into a few of the holes. Um, the ninth hole, the long par four, you don't want to mm -hmm. go right on number nine. You don't want to go right on number nine because it actually, if you go right on number nine, your ball is actually in the waterway. Yeah. Uh, wind can definitely be in play on that hole uh, any time of the year, summer, spring, winter, fall. Uh, but it's a great, beautiful golf course. You see the whole intercoastal right there on your right, beautiful oak trees on your left. And it's actually a double green with number 18, so big green on that one as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. It really does have a, a linksy kind of feel mm -hmm. if you start looking at the shape of the bunkers and, yep. and the fact that 9 and 18 do share green. We'll come back to 18 in a second, but let's talk about 16 first. I think that might be the hardest hole on the golf course. It is. It's actually my favorite, uh, my most scenic, uh, I feel. Um, what it is, it's a short par 4 off the tee. Uh, you, you lay up to about 150 yards and then you actually have quite a bit elevation difference going down to a green that has marsh surrounded on the, mm -hmm. all sides of it, a big oak tree on the, on the uh, left side of it. That green's skinny too. Skinny, very yeah. skinny and an intimidating shot if there ever was one in Myrtle Beach, uh, one of the most intimidating. Beautiful hole, fun to play, a lot of balls in the marsh on the right there. Mm. S17 is a great par three, but when you get to 18, mm -hmm. The 18 is, is I, I've had a chance to play out there a lot, and I still haven't figured out how to play 18. Talk, talk to me about the tee shot in particular and, and the options that are available. So 18 is kind of a pick your poison kind of a hole. Um, the tees are uh, make or break. Uh, if you're a long ball hitter, you go for everything you can. You're hitting across the marsh, a little bit of the intercoastal waterway to drive the fairway. Um, if you don't think you can hit it that far, or if the wind is in play, which it is most of the time, uh, you want to lay up to the right and then hit across. So when you're on the tee, it's kind of one of those, you really have to think about what you're going to do there on that hole. Yeah, you pull it off, you can have a pretty easy birdie, exactly. or you can do what I normally do there, which is wreck my exactly. round. Yeah, absolutely. So Ryan, appreciate your time. Thank you. I uh, appreciate you sharing the great information on uh, Glen Dornick Waterway Golf Links. And folks, uh, when you get in this area on a golf trip, that better be one you look at getting out and playing because it really is a hidden gem of beautiful golf course. It's a, mu it's a must play. Absolutely. Thank you.